Welcome to Programming Kids. My name is Lynn, and in today's video, we will be completing the look of our house from our last video. So, in today's video, we will be creating our house to look a little bit cooler, just maybe change the background color and add a little sun and also draw a little tree. So, I'm really excited for this and I hope you guys are. So unfortunately, we will not be showing the code from for the house. You're going to have to click the link in the description box to go view our last video. Well, let's start. I'm going to be opening idle. Okay. And, oh, let me close this first. Because if you don't close the files that you have that are open already, it will never open. All right, and as you can see, my house program from last week is here. You should definitely go check out that video. And now we're going to be creating a new file by pressing file, new file, just like that. And I'm going to be pasting the code for the house. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it. Okay, on my new file. Here. So here's everything that I need for the house so that I can complete the new, uh, the complete look for that. Okay, so we will be starting off with the screen background color. And in order to do that, all we have to do is, um, Use the screen is equal to turtle dot screen parentheses command. So first, I'm just going to name this for y'all, just so you won't get confused. All right. So screen is equal to turtle dot screen. And don't forget to include the parentheses, just so you won't get an error. Let me put here some space. All right, and now we're going to be choosing our color. So screen dot bg color and parentheses co uh, quotation marks and the color. So you can use blue if you want, but to me I feel like blue is way too dark. So I like to use sky blue. And thankfully Python understand what does sky blue mean and they will hopefully respond all right now we will be um creating the tree base for our tree so i'm just gonna name this again and let's start i'm going to make my turtle get her pen ready get ready for drawing and put her pen up so um, usually the pen app goes to and pen down. They don't draw anything. It's just for us to tell Python that here, I don't want to draw anything. I just want to move to a specific place. Okay. So first we will um, type pen up. We're telling Python that I don't want you to draw anything over here. I want you to go to a specific place. Okay. So t.go to. So I want them to go to the 250, it's somewhere around the screen. So if you went to a specific place, you might have to try it several times to find the place that you like. And it's probably based on the x axis and the y axis, but you don't have to worry about them. Just find the place where you think the turtle or the sun would look, I mean the tree or the sun will look good in. All right, and I'm going to tell Python to put her pen or my turtle to put her pen down and you can start actually drawing from now on. Okay, so we will choose a color that so that the tree base can be in. And I was thinking of brown is probably most the most realistic color. So fill color and brown. And here we go. Include your creations, your brackets 
and let's press enter and now i'm going to tell my turtle to begin filling whatever i draw from now on so t dot begin underscore fill and my brackets now i'm going to be moving backwards and putting in some angles so these can probably change depending on what length you want and what size or what angle but i'm going to be importing mine And finishing up, I'm going to be ending with a t dot and fill, telling Python or Turtle that over here I'm done filling whatever I had to fill. And now I want you to stop it. And yeah, we are done with the tree base. So let's now start the tree top. And the tree top will be like two triangles. So we're gonna have to create that. Again, I'm gonna name this as hashtag tree top. All right, space. Okay, so we we I'm going to be telling Python to put or my turtle to put her pen up and stop. Um, stop drawing for now. Just move where I want her to be, exactly like we did over here in the top. So t dot pen up and put in my parentheses, and then t dot go to. 250 and minus 30. All right, press enter and t dot pen down. All right, so now we're going to be choosing our color that we think would be the most realistic. So you can go ahead and to choose any color that you love, but I think for me, I would want to go to a light green color. I think that will look pretty fresh and nice. So let's type it up. Fill, color, open up the brackets, include the, the quotation marks and type light green. And close. Okay. We will be pressing enter and telling Python to begin filling whatever we want. So from now on, Python will be filling everything we draw. All right. So now I want to choose an angle. Perhaps 90 degrees would be good. And move backwards and more angles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type them. Again, you can be free to change them to something that you like or you prefer, like the length and how big you want it to be and the directions and the angle size. But this is what I'm doing. All right, finishing up, I'm going to be end the fill, meaning that I don't want my turtle to fill any more shapes. Here we go. And enter. So now we will be filling in a white color and going over 
the tri the this triangle. And the reason is if you don't do the following, you will be getting a mix between the uh, the color and it won't be colored properly. So make sure to do this. It's really important that you do or else you won't get a beautiful tree. It will be the colors won't be clear and there would be like space where it's white or blue or whatever the background is. So let's do this. So D dot fill color. So you just have to use white. Alright, we will also type in begin fill to so just tell Python that I want them to fill up now. And I'm going to be moving forward 55 steps. Sorry, I'm going to be for moving forward 90 steps and the angle should be 55. So left and 55. Alright. Press enter and I'm going to end fill right now. No more filling for me. So now we have one triangle done. And maybe if we make another one, it should be looking better. Better than one triangle only. So that's exactly what we will be doing. I'm going to choose the color again. And I'm going to be making it light green. Exactly like the first one. Right, and I'm going to be beginning fill. Include the parentheses and press enter. And just gonna move backwards and forwards. Different steps and angles. And lastly, in underscore fill. Alright, that was pretty easy. Now we're going to be drawing the sun. And it's actually pretty simple. We're just going to have to draw a circle with a specific radius and whatever color that we want. So I'm just going to put the pen up again so that we can move freely without drawing anything. So T dot pen up and put in the brackets, parentheses. And I'm going to be typing t dot go to 150, 250. Again, this is based on the axis. And you can personally put it anywhere that you want, anywhere that you think looks good in. And now we're going to be choosing the color. So I think I would go with, I would want to go with orange because our, my house is brown brown shades so i think orange will give a good pop and a good look okay so t dot fell color and orange parentheses and um quotation marks okay here we go press enter and pan down Telling Python that from now on you can draw whatever you want, whenever the code tell you. Okay, let's begin fill first of all. If you want to learn more about shapes in Python and intros to animations, make sure to check out our three intros to animations. They are um, really easy steps tutorials just for you guys i will be linking them in the description box down below all right now we will be typing to dot circle and we will be giving our circle a radius so that python draws whatever we want so i am going with 24. 
and I'm going to be ending file over here and underscore fill and include the brackets. Wow, wow, this looks pretty good to me. Let's uh, save this. So I'm gonna save it next to the first one on my desktop and I'll save this as my house. Who knows, maybe this can be my house in the future. Okay, now that it's saved over here, we're going to be running this, so let's run. All right, so let's run. Press run in run module. One, two, three. The house is perfect. The color is amazing and the tree is perfectly standing and the sun is shining. Isn't that cool, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had fun creating this as much as I did. Make sure to um, check the description box to view all of our videos and to, uh, check out our channel and check all the awesome videos that we do. So keep programming and I'll see you guys next time on Programming Kids. <laughs>